right, I think it's time to talk about the probes that come with the multimeters, but uh, before we do, I thought I'd mention, uh, I know like Dave Jones, for example, in his uh, multimeter shootouts, he includes the quality of the manual. It's, it's just gonna make this video way longer than necessary, so I'm just gonna shorten it up with a quick summary. The American ones, the German ones, the good quality ones, uh, and especially the ones that come in retail packaging, all had excellent manuals with good English, good diagrams, good charts for all the specs and stuff. Uh, and then the Chinese ones were a little subpar. A couple of them were, you know, the fold-out paper style. Um, the UNI-T actually has a really, really good manual. It doesn't come with the English one, though. You have to go on their website and get the PDF. But the PDF is really big, like what you would consider the American and, and European style multimeter manuals to be like. That being said, though, uh, I already mentioned earlier at the beginning of this video that I'm going to do individual reviews of all these multimeters. If you want more details and, and you want to actually see the manual, go watch the individual review of the multimeters and in there I'll show you the manuals. But in this video, it's already getting too long, so I'm just going to skip it. And it's pretty, it's going to be obvious. The Chinese ones are going to have crap manuals. The uh, American and European ones are going to have good manuals. It's just how it is. So yeah, let's take a look at some probes. First off, we have the UTL. So as far as the probes themselves, they feel like cheap plastic. Um, it's got good rubbery strain relief. Um, the material is a little cheap PVC feeling, and they are branded and rated, so that's good. So, they're, they're pretty pointy. They're oh, well, maybe a little above average as far as uh, pointiness goes, so uh, not terrible for the UTL. Okay, now we have the ones for the hold peak. Now the unusual thing is this actually, I think, I think this is actually silicone, which is weird. I think it's the only one out of all these that has silicone and it's also the cheapest meter. So it's really weird to me, but uh, it has these huge oversized uh, probes, but they don't feel that bad. They really honestly don't, they actually feel decent. So uh, they have really, really good strain relief on the end and then uh, I'd say a little a little bit above average pointiness, not bad. Next up, we have the BK Precision. Being a bigger name brand, you expect them to come with some really nice probes, and they do, and they're uh, BK Precision branded. Their average pointiness, they're not like, they don't feel sharp, but they're f somewhat pointy. Um, it's not silicone but it's kind of pliable, it's kind of in the middle. Uh, they are branded and rated. And interestingly enough, these the end that plugs into your meter is slightly angled. But I like that because you're, uh, if you're on the kickstand, it's slightly angled and you don't want these jamming straight into your workbench, so uh, I don't mind that at all. But um, yeah, the actual probes themselves feel of really good quality. Some of them feel cheap, these don't, these feel pretty good. Okay, these are for the Tech Power TP288 or 2844R. Uh, the actual probe handles are tiny. Look at that. They're gold plated. The only ones out of all of them that are gold plated. So that's actually pretty cool. It's, in fact, a lot of the uh, expensive ones aren't even gold plated. My flukes aren't gold plated. So that's impressive that it comes with gold plated test leads. A little overkill for how cheap the uh, probe handles feel. They feel kind of, it's kind of, it's a rubberized plastic. You can feel it flex a little bit. Good strain relief. But there is no branding or rating at all on the cables themselves. So anyways, that's the Tech Power TP2844R. Okay, these are the probes for the circuit test. Uh, that Canadian brand. Um. Yeah, they, it's just the really hard, cheap feeling plastic. There's no soft touch to make sure you don't slip. Um, there's some grippy stuff here, but it's not very good at being grippy. Finger guards are small. Probes are pointy. I'd say they're above average pointiness. Uh, this is not very pliable, cheap PVC stuff. And uh, it is branded and rated, so that's good. So. 
Um, circuit test one's uh, not bad. I'd say pretty, pretty average-ish. Okay, these are the fluke ones for the little baby fluke. Right off the bat, feels awesome. This is like a really, really soft rubber and it feels great. They're kind of small, but it's a small meter. Uh, defeats the point of having a pocket size meter if you have massive probes. So I understand that they had to be small, but man, this feels so much better than all the other ones. If, I don't know, just when you have soft touch materials, it feels a quality. It's one of those ergonomic things, I guess. As far as pointiness, they are very, very sharp. Excellent. Now the tip themselves are kind of conical, but the tip is very, very, very sharp. I can feel a very fine point on there, so pretty good. Uh, now as far as the, the actual cable, is it rated? No, Fluke never does. Fluke always has plain cables that don't have ratings or brandings on them, but out of all of them, uh, the, the actual cable is the stiffest. This is like the cheapest PVC feel compared to the other ones. Actually, no, there's a, there's something. That's the only thing I see on the entire cable, but yeah, it's as far as the actual cable quality, probably the lowest as far as feel. It's, it's the least flexible, least pliable, but uh, the best feeling probe handles so far and they're above average pointiness. So, uh, average, maybe slightly above average because the probe handle feel to me is important but not to a lot of people and, and it's very sharp. So that's pretty good. These are for the Cheapo Innova and just like the meter, the probes are just like, they're little, like, little baby toys. Tiny, not very big around, no, no girth so it's hard, kinda hard to hold on to. Hardly any finger guard at all cheap hard plastic um, the wires are at least branded branded and uh, rated so and these actually feel these might be silicone they actually feel really good but they're really thin maybe maybe the thinness is making it more pliable and tricking my brain into thinking it's silicone but these these feel no these aren't silicone. well it's if it is it's uh, just barely I don't know. It feels really good. It feels like silicone to me, but it could just be because it's thin and thin means more flexible, but uh, feels good. Probe handles don't feel good. Uh, they are pretty sharp though, so I'd say above average sharpness, but I wish I had bigger, f whoops, I wish I had bigger, bigger finger guards and I wish just they were just bigger in general. They're just absolutely tiny and I have small hands, so. Innova, not terrible. Okay, these are the probes for the UNI-T UT61E. Uh, it's kind of a hard, I wish it were more soft touch type of material, but at least they're big, so I feel like I, I can get a good hold of them, so. Yeah, so yeah, I, I like it for for not being uh, rubber or soft touch, as people call it. Uh, I, th I think they feel pretty good just because of their large size. Pretty sharp, it almost feels the sharpest, I think, possibly, so. It's sort of sharpness, excellent. Now this actually I think is stiffer than the Fluke one, so these might now be the worst cable as far as flexibility. And I don't see any branding or labels anywhere on these, so yeah, it's kind of what you expect from China. Uh, not super huge strain relief, but it has strain relief I guess, so. Um, these are okay, they're kind of average. Okay, these are the ones for the X-Tech EX. 430. Um, Size-wise, they're not bad, and they're kind of hard and plasticky feeling, but uh, it's it's a decent enough size to get a good grip on it. And the finger guards are a little bigger than some of the other ones. They look pointier, but the actual tip is a little more blunt than some of the other ones. But I'd say it's probably what I would consider average. Well, no, I take that back. They're they're pretty pointy. These are pretty pointy, so. Yeah, these are pretty pointy. And being X-Tech, you know that these are actually, they'll meet their cat ratings, so these are good. Really, really good strain relief. Cables obviously are um, rated and branded, as you would expect from a company like X-Tech, so. I'd say these are uh, average, a little above average. Okay, these are the Southwire, and they look, they look nice, they kind of look like the Fluke ones. Um, 
it's, I don't think it's like a rubber, but it's so smooth that it kind of feels like it's a rubber and uh, I don't know, it's, it's, yeah, I think it's rubberish. Yeah, I can feel the whole thing flexing a little. Uh, so it's softer and it feels really, really good in the hand. I like the shape, really, really good beefy strain relief. Hmm, they're pretty pointy, I'd say average-ish. So, uh, I like the feel of these. They're really, really good feel. Uh, it's not silicone, but it's very pliable for the PVC type, and it's branded and rated, so that's good. And I think the Southwire, if I remember correctly, was IP67 rated, so that explains why it's got these little ridges here to make a really solid uh, contact against the, uh, the cylinder that these slide into, and they're extra long, so yeah. Excellent. I like these a lot. These are these are uh, slightly above average or so, I would say. But and that's another thing too. I'm not considering the actual. We'll just we're assuming they'll meet the cat rating. So obviously the Chinese ones are going to lose to all the American and European ones that we know will meet the cat ratings. So just uh, throwing that out there. Okay, these are the Amprobe ones. They're a little small on the small side, but not terrible the by far the most blunt tip out of all of them so far I think yeah they're not very sharp at all they're kind of rounded so sharpness sharpness is not that great uh, they feel okay they're not super cheap and plasticky feeling but they're not uh, I don't know and the, the finger guards are pretty pretty tiny and so eh, not not the greatest um, Cable is about average on flexibility, and it, obviously it's rated and branded. See, it says hurt well. You have voltage, temperature, all that good stuff. So, yeah, these are pretty average. It, they could be pointier, but at least the cable's uh, branded and stuff. So, these are for the Unity UT61D, but these are basically identical to the E model. So, I already covered that. So, no point in repeating myself. This is the Tech Power TP40. Um, they're slightly bigger than average size. Good size finger guards. Uh, they feel kind of cheap and plasticky, but uh, the size makes it more comfortable, I think. And I kind of understand now that I'm holding this one why some of these have that kind of rounded triangle shape, because that gives it a flat side. So if it's round, you know, it's, it's round and you don't get a lot of surface area in one flat spot to get your thumb on. But when you have the rounded triangle, you have three flattened sides, so you get a good grip with your thumb. So I actually like that now that I'm actually realizing why some of these do the little triangle thing. Yeah, I like it. It feels good. But it feels the overall feel though, the material is just it's just cheap hard plastic, but uh, it's big enough that I can get a good grip on it and it's not bad. Very pointy, very, very pointy. One of the pointier ones, probably I'd say well above average as far as pointiness. Uh, not super flexible probe leads, but they're rated and branded, so, uh, eh, average, not bad, they pass. Okay, these are for the Klein, was it the MM2000, I think it was, and these actually came with insulated alligator leads, that's awesome. I like that they included that for no extra cost, those were other companies like Fluke will charge you your firstborn and your arm and your leg advanced payment. Uh, so absolutely no finger guard at all. You could just slip past that very easily if you're probing something. So finger guard, not very great, but it is a soft feeling rubber. So I know that, you know, my fingers wouldn't slip, especially if you're an electrician, you'd be wearing gloves and so the, those like leather linesman gloves. Those would get really good grip against this kind of soft rubber. So maybe that's why they don't put a big finger guard on there or something. I don't know, but finger guards could be bigger. Other than that though, they feel good because it's a soft material. And their average pointiness. Uh, let's see here. As, as far as the the material, it's it's kind of on the slightly stiff side, but uh, they're definitely uh, rated and branded, being you know a company that does these for electricians. So you know these will meet their rating. So not bad, I'd say average. Last but not least, the trusty Radio Shack. By far the biggest finger guards. Excellent. There's no way your fingers will slide past that at all. Uh, and they're not terrible feeling. They're not, I mean, you can tell it's like a plasticky feeling, but it's pretty smooth and uh, I, don't, I don't mind it. It's not bad. And they're pretty good size too, so you feel like you get a really good grip on them. 
uh, those are actually pretty sharp. So I'd say pointiness, well, well above average. Those are very, very pointy. Very needle tip. Uh, not silicone, but it's uh, the very flexible type of PVC, if that's what it is. And it is rated and branded, so pretty good. And average strain relief, not bad. So yeah, Radio Shack ones I'd say are average or maybe slightly above average, actually.